a girl and I want to be a superhero. And today, the superpower that I'm working on is the power of energy. And in particular, harnessing renewable energy from the force of the wind. Now, to be a really successful superhero, I need to be able to explore the world, traverse the globe, and venture to faraway lands and be brave on the seven seas. As of right now, though, my superpower of flight is still, let's call it a work in progress. So what I'm thinking is that I need a signature superhero vehicle, something that makes all the other superheroes wish that they had one. What do I need? What do I need? I know, I need a superhero sailboat. And then I could cross the oceans. And to make my sailboat a super success, I'm gonna need some way to capture and track the wind on the seas so that it will propel my boat as far and as fast as I want to go. I reckon we need to build a super sail too. Okay, so let's dive right in and give it a go. For this sea conquering experiment, you are going to need a plastic bottle cap, a little bit of card, a pencil, scissors, blue tack, a little bit of paper, and a straight stick like a wooden skewer or even a twig. You also need something to float your boat in, so either the bathtub or here I have a bowl. So first you're going to take a lump of blue tack and put it in to the middle of your bottle cap like this. So this is gonna be our ballast, which is gonna help keep our boat stable in the water. Now you're gonna put your bottle cap onto your card and you're gonna draw a boat shape around it that's bigger than your bottle cap. So my boat is gonna have a pointy top like this and then a rectangle like that. Okay, you're gonna cut that out. Perfect, there's my boat shape. Now you want to stick your bottle cap onto your boat shape with a little bit of blue tack on the bottom. Like so, easy peasy. So next you're gonna take a stick, this is a wooden skewer or you could use a twig, and you're gonna take a little sheet of paper about five centimeters by eight centimeters. Now this is gonna be your super sail. So you're gonna curl it over but not fold it and then put a hole in between both of them with your skewer or you can cut it with some scissors. And that's gonna create a shape like this, which if you can curve it a little bit as you fold it out, this is your super sail. Now you need to attach this to your boat by putting it into your blue tack. Now you may notice that your boat is made out of card. Now this card is glossy on one side but card we know doesn't agree with water very well. So you might want to try and waterproof it either by coloring it in with a wax crayon or if you have a little bit of plastic spare, you could make your base out of plastic instead. Here we go, moment of truth. Is it gonna sink or is it gonna float? I think we should make this a little more dangerous and find Nano Nano Girl. Hold on, Nano Nano Girl, are you ready to try out the boat? Okay, here we go. We're gonna put you on board here. What do you think is going to happen? Climb aboard. I'm a little too big, so we'll just leave it for Nano Nano Girl. Okay, now for the test. Nano Nano Girl, hopefully you've got your life jacket on. We're going to put you inside here on the water and then we're going to blow into the back of the sail. We're going to blow very gently. Let's see how this goes. Look! Off she sails! Off she goes! Fantastic, we just need a bigger one of these with a massive sail that can trap the wind and then we can go wherever the wind blows. That would be amazing. Now, I definitely think I need some training. Uh, Nana Nana Girl, I'm gonna leave you there. I need to find a parrot, because I reckon if I had a parrot and I could put one on my shoulder and we ever met a pirate, then we'd be totally prepared. Okay, I'm gonna let you sail and I'm gonna go find myself a parrot. See you later. Open ocean in search of adventures and a parrot. Bye, Nana Nana Girl. Bye, Bobby. <laughs>